welcome back to the shop. It's been a while, um, but today we're going to be going over what's in my gear bag and kind of what you guys should bring. Make sure you don't forget anything. So we're going to hop right into this. And uh, the first thing on top here, I just keep all my gloves in this compartment. And it's great to uh, bring multiple pairs. I've probably got like five pairs in here. I got blue ones, some camo ones, black ones, all the above. So, um, and in gloves, I kind of look for a thinner style, but one that still has just a little bit of padding. Um, I found if there's too much, it'll kind of wad up and give you blisters. And then if there's not enough, there's not enough padding. So you, then I get blisters either way. So um, it's kind of that like medium ground there that I look for in a glove. And then moving on to the big compartment here, unzip it and we got everything else. So I'll just go ahead and start up here in the uh, kind of upper zipper and I keep it just like a first aid bag in here and coming down from that um, and in the first aid bag I just use uh, the tape and really that's about it that I like to use and then obviously there's band-aids and whatnot but um, the tape I just use like before a race uh, if I know there's a chance I'm going to get a blister. I'll just like tape that spot on my hand and then usually I'm good to go. Uh, and then over here, I like to keep a bag with a rain uh, jacket in it. So rainy day, you never know when the rain's going to come. If you're at the track, then you got a rain jacket. So zip that back up. And first thing on top here is a chest protector. And I run a chest protector just because why not? I ran one like my whole life and don't really notice it when I have one on. So um, I've always ran one. Some people don't. They, you know, they think they're uncomfortable. Restrict them. Kind of personal preference on all this stuff, honestly. But I do run one and it is uh, the Fly certified. I don't know. I think it's like the only one they make. But anyway, definitely a chest protector helps with the roost. And then if you crash, you know, not going to get a stick in your stomach or bars or whatever so uh, definitely a good option here no complaints and then hydration pack for riding in the woods hair scrambles trail riding definitely recommend a hydration pack of really any kind um, but this one here it's nice just because it like hugs you so tight and doesn't bounce around so uh, that's kind of why I like this one um, just pretty simple and then I got the GoPro mount on there so get all the footage for you guys uh, moving on always bring a towel and it's always super nice after the race you know you're not stuck all muddy you don't have to wipe your face down with your sweaty gear you just took off you can grab your towel here wipe down get nice and clean and so that's always super nice um, and then you can clean your helmet with it whatever whatever you know um, and then just regular Jersey pants here, wearing some fly stuff, um, pants, you know, same thing, fly, uh, and then I always wear an undershirt so I can wear my chest protector under my jersey, so undershirt, chest protector, jersey, just so I don't rub those nips raw and uh, everything like that, but uh, just regular, like, whatever, undershirt, athletic <laughs> undershirt, um, and then the socks. They're always just about inside out, and I don't know why, but I always wear these super long socks, and they come up like all the way to your like waist almost, and that's just because I don't like my knee braces rubbing on my legs. So if you have them all the way up, then you don't have to worry about your knee braces rubbing, and uh, Fly makes them. I know a whole bunch of other companies make them, but... Um, anyway, the long socks are super nice. Uh, don't have to wear like an extra pair of pants or nothing, just the socks, and then you're good to go. So, moving on from that, I run the Mobius knee braces, and I know here recently there's a lot of people that say, oh, you know, knee braces, don't wear them. They're, they're no good, you know, restrict you. Uh, but honestly, like, I haven't really felt any issues with them. Uh, I wore knee pads probably three years ago and switched over to the knee braces and 
when I switched over, I don't think I really noticed that big of a difference in how much it restricted me. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to keep wearing knee braces and I don't think there's really too much of a downside for me personally, but I do know some people that will say don't wear knee braces because they restrict you and wear the knee pads, whatever. But that's your guys' decision. I'll let you guys do that. And then uh, onto the helmet. I wear the Fly uh, Formula Carbon, all that good stuff. A little dirty right now. Just went and rode, but um, you know, helmet, got to have that in the gear bag. And then one of the last things is boots. And these are the CD Crossfire 3 SRS boot. Uh, they have like a pivot on the ankle. Um, so your ankle can pivot pretty well. And then um, it won't like hyper extend. So definitely boots, good option. I just want to take a quick pause and talk about a few things in this video here. Really kind of these three things, I guess. Um, boots, helmet, and knee braces if you decide to wear those. Um, and that is just, when you guys are buying this stuff and looking for gear and everything, I know you're on a budget and you only got this much money to spend, but do not cheap out on especially the boots and the helmet. Um, the helmet, especially for me, uh, it's kind of the main, I'd say, part of your gear uh, is the helmet. So. Be sure to get you guys a good helmet, whether that be one of the good Bells, um, Alpine Star, um, any of them. Like I said, I'm running the Fly, and it's been great for me. Uh, but there are, you know, many other brands out there, 60, um, all that stuff. But just don't get one of the cheap ones because, you know, a five, six, seven hundred dollar helmet is a lot cheaper than a hospital bill. So um, just keep that in mind when you're buying this stuff. And then boots, you know, they can get pretty pricey as well, but you're going to get what you pay for, for sure. So that's another one of these things, like do not cheap out on this stuff. It will save you in the long run and you'll be happy you have it for sure. So um, get the good stuff and uh, that's, that's all about it. Let's get back into the video. Flip this back over and I'll bring up the goggles. So I got... One case of goggles and two. And the reason I do that is just to keep it more organized. And that way, one, I could probably fit all this stuff into one bag, but it would be super crammed. And it's just a lot easier doing it this way. So uh, in this box, I just keep my roll offs and then kind of all the accessories like lenses, uh, extra tear offs, roll off system. Um, pretty much, this is like my rain goggles I guess you could say here um, but yeah got some roll-offs and then uh, everything else that you need to prep goggles in that bag or in that box and this one here um, this kind of tear-off bag I guess you could say um, so got like three pairs in here and two in the other so that's one thing I like to be prepared for the races so for the race I usually just prep all my goggles and then when I get to the race don't even have to worry about it. I can just pull some out and we're ready to go racing. So um, that's kind of the the goal on this. And then still got some tear-offs, miscellaneous stuff in, stuff in there. But nothing too crazy. Hope you guys kind of were able to make a checklist on this stuff and not forget anything. And then um, just kind of see what I've got in my gear bag. And... Um, see what kind of my opinions are on some of this stuff. So thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, be sure to subscribe for some dirt bike videos and everything else like that. More videos like this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And we'll see you guys in the next video.